Right, I think we're live now on Facebook and Zoom. So hi everyone and thanks for joining. Um, I'm just going to check we are live. Okay, we definitely are. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, hi, I'm Eve Oxbury. I'm editor of Professional Beauty. Um, today's webinar, as I just mentioned, is um, the beauty of consultations. So, how to use technology to maximise efficiency and safety. Now, all of our webinars this week are sponsored by Timely, um, but today's is also sponsored by Salonology. So, I'll just quickly tell you a little bit about those companies before we get started. Timely is a powerful booking and business management software for businesses of any size. It's designed to help you save time on admin, deliver exceptional client experiences, establish a much loved brand and grow your revenue. Um, and it offers over 500 software updates every year. Um, and Salonology was established by husband and wife team Holly and Ryan Power. Um, and they started that to help salon owners to set goals while building successful businesses. Um, they built, grew and sold their own multi-award winning day spa and they've helped thousands of other salon owners to discover their own unique journeys. Um, Holly and Ryan focus on teaching part inspiration and part formula to help people find their own path to success. So I'll be popping links for both those brands in the chat box here in Zoom and also over on Facebook in just a second, um, along with a little bit more information about Timely's free iOS app, which is called Consult by Timely. Um, and that's a secure and GDR, GDPR sorry, compliant way for businesses to collect client info, waivers and consents. Um, so today I'm joined by Holly Power, who is co-founder of Salonology. Hi, Holly. Hello, everybody. How are hey. you all today? <laughs> Yeah, I'm also joined by Lou Korth, who is a social media expert from Timely. Hi, Lou. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? <laughs> so I'm going to let uh, Holly and Lou get started on their presentation in just a sec. Um, but we will have some time at the end for questions. So if you have any questions, do type them in as we go along so that we have some ready uh, at the end. Um, if you're watching in Zoom, then you'll see a little Q&A box at the, uh, at the bottom of your screen. So if you type on that, uh, click on that and type your questions in there, that's the best way to get them to us. Um, use the chat box here for any kind of chatting. <laughs> but yeah, if you use the Q&A box for questions, that would be fab. Um, if you're watching over on Facebook, just pop them in the comments section and we'll get them answered at the end. Fab, so I'll hand over now to, uh, to Lou and Holly. Thanks very much. Thanks, Eve. Awesome. <laughs> Hi everybody, so I'm Holly and I'm co-founder of Salonology. Um, we, uh, I call myself a salon coach from here, but we kind of do a bit of everything. We're salon coaches, mentors, cheerleaders, all sorts of things. And uh, I was super, super um, excited to uh, be asked by Timely, who are hosting this webinar, um, to co-host and to come along and to talk about the beauty of consultations. Um, I actually used to use Timely when I owned my spa, which I sold in January. So um, it was very fitting for me to come and um, co-host with the lovely Lou to talk about um, some amazing technological te technology advancements they've been making to keep us guys here in the UK all totally sorted and on par um, in the UK. And um, yeah, I'm really, really excited to go through this webinar with you guys and talk about how important consultations are here in the UK. Awesome. Thanks, Holly. So hello, everyone. My name is Lou. I am, as Eve said, the social media specialist here at Timely. So I'm, I'm very passionate about the beauty industry, and I've worked very closely with um, hundreds of business owners around the world um, to help them move over to Timely. And it's really been through that, doing that work, that I've developed a pretty good understanding of the industry. So over the past couple of months, since everything's been changing with the world and since coronavirus hit, um, we at Timely have been working on a program called Timely Bootcamp. And so that's been a lot of what my work has been recently. Um, we've been running a live series of bootcamp classes, which have been designed to help people get um, Timely fit, fit, which is really to help them understand our platform. So I've been doing that alongside with a bunch of live chats on Instagram with industry leaders. Um, so things have been pretty busy over here, which to be honest, hasn't been too much of a bad thing. It's been making the lockdown time fly by. So yeah, thanks so much for, for joining us today. It's very exciting to be here. 
I've actually seen some of your timely fit Instagram live videos, Lou, and <laughs> usually you've got like a bright leotard on and some kind of crazy headwear. So I think it's been it's entertaining like, people. And lycra, so I'm not too sure people might, may not recognize me today. <laughs> no, they might. You look very sensible and calm today and professional. <laughs> Okay, right. let's get started. So, um, what we uh, what we all decided to talk about was, first of all, the absolute importance of um, a thorough and professional consultation when it comes to looking after your clients here in the UK, um, and how um, a decent consultation can absolutely make or break the relationship that you have with the client um, and of course when a new client comes in it's so important that we get to know them um, so let's look at a couple of situations you've got somebody who comes in um, and they've got some sensitivities and you spend time with that client you understand their history you understand you know that their issues their health um, anything that they might have allergy wise um, and you have an opportunity to sit down, understand the client, get to know that client, read that information, process that information, and you can help them to achieve their goals. Um, but you can only do this if you have a thorough understanding. And if you're aware of sensitivities or allergies, then you can totally tailor their experience to make sure that they have the best experience possible and the result that you're both working towards. However, um, in situations, and I've had it, I've gone into salons and spas where they haven't asked me to, to complete a consultation, um, and they maybe haven't made the best judgment on what treatment to deliver because uh, they might not know my goals, they might not know my sensitivities and allergies. But on a further level, if you have somebody with specific allergies, and you don't take them through this process um, and that person's saying look I'm sensitive I can't have this I can't have that and you're not listening and you're not recording this information then that's when we lead to problems that's when we don't have a thorough understanding and we touch the client we put a product on them that might be ineffective that might cause a flare up or an issue um, and that's going to lead on to bad reviews it's going to lead on to potential um you know, liability, it's going to lead on to um, asking for refunds, and just a, a, a generally bad um, relationship between between us and our clients. So it's so important that we we put our, our make or break at the very beginning when we meet a client to make sure that we're putting the right processes into place to protect us and them. Yeah, absolutely. Couldn't agree with you more. And you know, I think now, is more important than ever to have a really good consultation process. Um, it will help protect, as you've said, you know, it will help protect you, your team and your brand. But as well as that, it's also going to give your clients confidence in you and your business and enhance that whole client experience that they're going to have with you. So yes, yes, consultations. Absolutely. Um, now, we know um, we know the purpose of consultations in our industry. We know how important it is, but I just want to reiterate it because, as I said before, you know some people don't do this, and it is so incredibly important. Um, first of all, it's a brilliant opportunity to get to know your client, um, whether it's done digitally, whether it's done in person. Having that information about your client is. It's absolutely vital in order to build a long term relationship. Um, we're trying to understand them. We're trying to become aware of their history. And we only have a small window of time to do it. So the more thoroughly we can do it and the more effectively we can do it, the better for us and for them. Um, and the, the key to a great consultation is to learn and to listen and to make sure that that information they're feeding to us is being processed at our end and put into play when we're working out out a relationship with our clients if you have a client who comes in with extremely dark hair and says I want to be platinum blonde by the end of today we need to be able to educate that client as well we need to understand their hair history we need to understand their skin history their nail history whatever it is they're coming to us for and we need to be able to advise on the right course 
that we can put in place for them. We don't want to be promising them stuff we, we can't deliver, but we also don't want to be um, doing things to them that could potentially cause them ongoing damage um, and that might not get them the result that they like. So this is a, a brilliant opportunity to be honest, to evaluate, to communicate and to educate our clients to make sure that we're all singing from the same hymn sheet and subsequently recording that information at the end as well to make us both accountable for the results. Mm, absolutely. Well, for all of those reasons that you are talking about, um, Timely started to recognise that, you know, there was a, a, a real growing need for businesses to provide these high quality consultations and that, that experience to clients. So what we did um, a few years ago now is we joined up with some industry expert friends that we had and we decided to build an app called Consult. So we built this app outside of Timely so that absolutely anyone could actually use this tool. Um, Consult, the app, is created by us at Timely. It's a free iOS app, so that does mean it needs to be used on iPhone or iPad. Um, but it's free to absolutely everyone, which is awesome. So the app itself allows businesses to um, design their own forms or there are expert made um, industry templates that you can use if you want a bit of a helping hand while you're getting started. Um, and so it's basically a way that you can now collect client information. Maybe it's getting waivers or consent consents um, signed by people and it saves all of that physical paperwork and all the data entry from taking that you know paper copy and entering it into your system. Um, the app is very secure and it's also GDPR compliant. So we're very excited about being able to offer this to the industry. Yeah, and uh, something else that we, we want to talk on um, about how um, probably the most paramount important part of doing consultations and whether during COVID and beyond, or even you know, in a couple of years time when this is something that we need to worry about so much. But health and safety is absolutely key when we have people coming on site into our business. And now more than ever, assuming we open in July, um, we obviously still don't know 100%, there's still not any um, definitive word. But it is looking like this might happen in July. And now we need to put processes into place, not just to protect ourselves, but to protect our staff and to protect our clients. So um, anything that we can start to do to change the process and make the process easier for us and for everybody involved um, in the business is, is absolutely key. Um, understanding where our clients are in their health journey at the moment is very important. We need to know if people have experienced symptoms of COVID. We need to know if they've been around anybody who has experienced COVID because we need to make sure we can do everything in our power to prevent them from coming into the business. And this really needs to happen in advance for them to even walking into our salons or homes because, you know, once they're in, it might be that it's started to spread if they are carrying something. So ruling it out in advance is very important and needs to be done digitally. Um, it protects you, it protects your staff, it's going to protect your clients as well. Um, but we, we just want to make sure that we're putting as much into place to prevent time um, being used up filling out consultation forms as well um, from a hygiene perspective as well in the business with people playing with paperwork and all that sort of thing and clipboards and pens anything that we can rule out anything that we can streamline before we reopen to make sure a that the clients know exactly where they stand when it comes to entering our premises and making sure that we've put everything into place to keep everybody as safe as possible yeah awesome Absolutely. I think, um, well, one thing I was going to talk about was currently what is happening in um, Australia and New Zealand um, with beauty businesses. So we have been able to reopen again over the last few weeks, um, New Zealand a little bit earlier than Australia, but we have been able to open, but only with a bunch of new restrictions in place. So things like contact tracing um, or health screening pre-appointment. Um, and one of the forms that we have that has been really, really popular for this time um, and key to helping the business run successfully post lockdown has been the COVID-19 health form. So 
this health form that we have created, it is available through Timely if you use Timely, or you can create it in the consult app, um, or we do have a version that you can download as a PDF and use it absolutely anywhere. So available for anyone to use in any way. Um, basically what it is, is that the, the form goes through all of the key questions that you would need to ask to ensure that clients are not going to bring COVID into your business or onto your premises. So for those people that are using consult and timely together, they can also do things where they can send forms pre-appointment um, through a text. Um, and that whole idea there is to really save time that the client is going to be in the salon. So that's going to help a lot with, let's say, crossover between clients and reducing it uh, or helping with the social distancing. Um, and yeah, I just thought it could be worth bringing this up as we're starting to see it over here with these businesses and it is something that is really, really helping them to um, open successfully. And hopefully that's a little bit of an insight into what might be to come um, for beauty businesses in the UK. So, so yeah, the option there of, let's say, sending forms pre-appointment by SMS, but if it's not by SMS with Timely, also being able to email, email let's say, that health form beforehand as well. I love that you're you're sort of giving us an idea of how things are looking um, in uh, Australia and New Zealand, because, of course, we are still unsure exactly how things are going to move forward here. And um, it's kind of reassuring knowing that there are effective practices that can be put in place that you guys are operating now that makes it easier for us to do our jobs as salon owners here in the UK. So it's kind of like I know rules and regulations are different from country to country, but it's kind of like a little snapshot from our potential future. So knowing that there are systems and facilities available to us um, that's going to make the whole transition a little bit easier um, is great because we know it's going to be a slightly complex process and just eliminating some of these issues now and getting these things into action, I think is going to help well, everybody. We just run a few things and then it can be a little bit smoother for, for you over there. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So let's talk about from more of like the business element of, of having um, a really good consultation process into place and how that helps us to build confidence with our clients. Because, of course, um, clients come to us and they want to put their trust into us. And a lot of clients, when they come to visit a salon, you know, they may be on a journey. They may be looking to make a substantial change to their skin. They may be looking to prepare and grow out their nails ready for their wedding. They may be um, coming to, you know, totally transform their hair. So quite often when a new client walks through the, the business door, they, they're looking to have a long-term relationship with you, depending on how your business is set up. So um, it's very, very important to put um, confidence into your client. And that happens very strongly within the consultation process um, because it ensures that you're both on the same page. It ensures that if they're talking about an issue, they have a health concern, that you're aware of that health concern and you're aware of how that you know, may impact their course of treatments. Um, it's more than just a client saying, this is what I want. It's about you saying, this might be what you want, but safely, this is what we can do. And that builds confidence between you because sometimes clients just simply don't understand the journey. They don't understand exactly what needs to be done in order to get them the result that they're looking for. They may think it's much quicker. They watch, you know, the Kardashians go from black hair to blonde hair overnight and they think it's possible and it's safe for their hair. So they, they, they're trying all the time to, to replicate what we see in the media and sometimes it's simply not that easy so this is a brilliant time to build confidence to um to offer a service that is safe and effective it builds trust within you and your client both ways of course because you want to know that that they have a realistic expectation that you can meet um, if they're demanding things that just can't be delivered and, and insisting, then they might not be the best client for you. Um, it's important that we use this time to reiterate exactly what the client wants. They may be having a totally different idea of what, you know, um, long nails are to you or, or what better skin is. So going back and reiterating these elements, looking at images, looking at pictures and even having images of them that you can draw on, that you can talk about, that you can show them um, a journey with is unbelievably powerful to build that confidence and build that trust between you and them. 
Mm, absolutely. I was just thinking, you know, through all of this time that everyone's had at home and with a lot of people being on social media and browsing things, there's probably been a lot of time for people to get some very bold new ideas mm-hmm. and different ideas of what they're after. So actually being able to make sure that that's going to be achievable and that that's it's realistic. Yeah. So important, I think, in this time coming back into back into business. So um, talking about that last point you just made with um, pictures or photos, I think that is such a brilliant way to make sure that you're on the same page. If you've got an image there that you're both looking at, there's sort of no denying that you're not on the same page. So um, with Consult, with the Consult app, what you can actually do is upload images or even take a photo whilst you are doing the consultation if you are in person with the client. Mm -hmm. And then so if I'm with the client, I've got my phone, I take a photo of them, um, let's say we're working on their face, doing some sort of treatments. I can then go and actually edit that um, using my finger to draw on that image. Right. And then from there, once we've agreed on what we are doing, once I save the consultation, that image will be embedded into that consultation. So you can always come back to it, um, but it will be locked. Um, once you've done the edits, they can't be changed. So so yeah, pretty pretty handy to be able to, to do that with your consultations. Yeah, that's awesome. But I also just want to touch on as well today, one of the most important parts of of this, which is to protect your business, really, and to protect your reputation. And this is relevant at all times within business, not just during and post COVID. You know, we have to make sure that we're covering ourselves. Um, I, you know, we, we coach multiple, multiple salons across the UK. We've worked with thousands of different salons and I have seen horror stories. I have seen people who have been dragged through the mill um, all the way to court and back, um, but they have been protected because they've put these systems in place to ensure that they don't touch anybody unless they've got a client signature um, written down to declare their their, uh, allergies or sensitivities or any medication that they're on. And that is something that we have to put in place to protect us. And for anybody that hasn't followed this process, who's in the salon industry, and I know some people don't because I've been there and I've been to some salons and always been a little bit surprised, um, it's, it's so important and now is a wonderful time for you to put these processes into action because they will protect you and they're there to protect you and your client. And trust me, I have seen so many people go through these problems and I've, I've, I can absolutely back up the importance of having this information to hand, making sure you are signed off and you're okay to, to touch somebody with product, to touch somebody with hands, and to make sure that whatever you put on them is absolutely safe. Um, and this is ultimately going to protect your reputation. Because yeah. we all know people will happily spread a bad experience before they'll spread a good one. And if anything happens, even if it is just a slight reaction and they don't even come to you and tell you about it, there's every chance they'll tell their friends, they might stick it on their Facebook and they didn't do this and they didn't ask me and they put this on and I had a reaction. Um, and you may need re- not even get a chance to fix it if they don't come to you. So putting these things in place protects absolutely everybody it protects you from potential liability Um, it protects you from potential problems Um, you can record everything on these systems um, and you 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 know you can record your patch tests you couldn't record any changes in medication you know this sort of information which is absolutely essential to us and it's our responsibility as salon owners to make sure we know this stuff Um, to, you know, to make sure everybody's going to have the best experience. That's what we ultimately want here. We want our clients to come to us, ultimately follow the journey and get the result that they want safely and effectively with everybody being happy every step of the way. Yeah, awesome. Now, one thing to mention on this um, current picture that we are on, on the current slide. So you will see here, there's a screen grab of what it looks like inside the console app that that we have Um, and just down the bottom there is where a client is signing their signature with their finger so that's on any device um let's say where they've got the screen they can sign their signature like that so there are ways to be able to make this process easy for you without being too much admin i think yeah that that's um just a nice wee thing to touch on there cool 
Yeah, I love that as well, because being able to do things digitally, of course, at the moment is going to have such an impact. And even if they need to come in and complete stuff within your business, if they don't have the option to complete it in advance, then um, it's much easier to disinfect a screen than it is to deal with all the other elements that come with having to write something out um, on paper, um, which is, um, as I know, something that I had in my business. And, you know, it it, it, it's quite a complex process to, to keep everything, you know, hygienic and clean. So a screen obviously can be wiped down and, and reused regularly. Sure. So, um, so, but also another element of this is increasing revenue in the business, of course. That's what we're here to do at the end of the day. And um, one of the most important parts of increasing revenue in business is sales and selling retail products. And we've seen um, through lockdown, I have seen so many salons who have put up their their retail products they've got on their shelf in their business and they've put it up and they've put it out there and they've sold out all of their stock overnight. And it just shows people want to buy from salons. People want to buy retail because they can all jump online and buy it from any of these big companies, but they want to support their local salons. And the reason they're doing it is because these salons are putting it out there. They're saying, look what we've got. You can do a home facial, you can paint your nails, we can provide you with at home pedi kits. And people wanna buy it because they want to buy from a salon. Because when you buy with, from a salon, you feel you're gonna get more professional products and um, you're gonna get a better experience. And it's stuff you can't necessarily buy elsewhere so using this consultation to increase your revenue just gives you even more power because imagine being able to then customize exactly what your clients want because you understand what that client's looking for and what that client needs so the consultation process is a brilliant chance to learn and educate yourself about not just your client's skin and their goals but also their routines, what they're currently using, um, how they like to use their products. Some people say, you know, I'll spend half an hour putting products on at night, layering everything up. I enjoy the process. Some people will say, I don't have time for that. I'm a one product woman. And you might have this amazing serum that can solve all of her problems. So by understanding where she's at, what she wants, a simple conversation starts with the consultation and it can build on to a sale 100 percent. but that only comes when you have that knowledge to work with from your client and that is what you can get from a decent consultation process i think that you know if someone would come to me and ask me really specific and personal questions because they had and they had been listening to bits and pieces let's say gathering that information i would then really trust them as well because i would feel like it's been they're, they're giving me advice that has specifically been designed for me so that yeah. that trust here in turn is definitely going to help with that side of things and a bit of a fun fact the proof is in the pudding we have been able to pull some stats um, from timely businesses and so timely businesses that are using consultations now have actually increased their retail revenue by 40 percent which is huge That's and huge. that is true fact so yeah yeah i think if that's not something to convince you to, to start giving them a go and gathering that information and using this process um it's just it's awesome for us to be able to see that that really does work yeah it's brilliant. And I, you, you see it all the time where people, um, they just recommend a product just randomly because it's a product that they like. Um, but taking it back to understanding that client um, and helping you to leverage your sales by having a good knowledge of what that client's looking to achieve is just, it's business transformational, really, especially a 40% increase in revenue. I'm pretty sure most salon owners watching this now would take that and would be quite <laughs> happy to run with an extra 40 percent i know i would have done back in the day um yeah. but also this this process is great to to of course build a connection between you and your client and to to grow loyalty uh long term because a client who feels valued um will keep coming back um we all want to feel valued because we're going and we're choosing to spend our money with you we're choosing to come in and say you know out of all these salons I'm going to come and give you my money because I think you're going to be able to do what I want. And mm -hmm. again, um, that all starts with building a relationship. It all starts with a consultation and a conversation and an understanding 
of what that person wants to achieve. Now, if I walk into the local salon and I'm like, look, this is what I want to do with my hair. Or this is what I want to do with my skin. And they don't listen and they don't take the time to understand. I'm not going to feel valued by them. I'm going to question why I'm coming to this salon and spending my money with them. I want them to say, we appreciate you. We value you. Therefore, we're going to get to know you and understand you to make sure we can make you happy in a realistic manner and get you to where you want to get to. It validates my choice to go to them. So it's really, really important. Yeah, awesome. But let's talk about on the more um, eco-friendly side of things. Um, of course, as soon as we go digital, we, well, we know as soon as we reopen, there's going to be a lot of PPE. We know that. We don't know exactly what. But there's every chance that PPE is going to be somewhat disposable. And I know there's a lot of dialogue happening in the UK industry at the moment about um, the eco side of that and is that right you know and we know we've got to do this for safety for everybody but I know a lot of people feel uncomfortable about a high level of disposables coming through their business um, and as somebody who owned a salon for uh, over 10 years who had paper consultations <laughs> um, I can assure you there was a lot of paper that was printed in order to ensure that our many many hundreds of thousands of clients that came through our business over that time um, had to fill out consultations. Everybody obviously had to fill a consultation. We wouldn't touch them, even if it was an eyebrow shape, a nail appointment. If they just popped in, we were in a hotel. So sometimes we had guests who were never going to visit us again. And they'd come down, they'd say, I literally just want my nails painted. And we wouldn't touch them unless they filled out a form. It was, you know, strict. Um, and, you know, that, of course, um, incurred a lot of paper. And mm -hmm. ironically, uh, we have to keep it for... a quite a few number of years in the UK. I know it's slightly different to you guys out there, but um, we still have, um, you know, the paperwork from Mary Smith from 2015 who came in from a nail paint because we have to hold on to this stuff. Where, and where do you even store that? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so taking everything digitally um, is just, it's business changing because suddenly everything just sits uh, somewhere else um, it's a lot more hygienic. It's a lot more planet friendly. Um, and it's one thing that we can take digital right now. We know everything's going to be very disposable. So this is one step that we can take that is much, much better for our planet, much better for our cost as well. Printing costs a lot of money. So um, and of course, the hygiene aspect as well. So on so many levels, taking this consultation digital is going to have a profound impact on our business. Yeah, awesome. Even on that, talking about if you need to update your form and if you've printed them all out and then having to make that change and have to throw everything else out is, would be such a pain. So being mm. able to have that digitally is, yeah, so good for so many reasons. Yeah. Um, one thing to mention on this as well, so if you are using the consult app and you do go to save a consultation, it will automatically save with the client name and the full date. So for example, if I was filling one out, it would say Lou Court, 10th of June, 2020. Um, and that basically means that you don't need to spend time going back, renaming um, all that administrative time. And so you can make sure you can easily find it. If Mary Smith does come back seven years later, no worries. <laughs> Excellent, because of course, maintaining records is a huge part of what we do and making sure that we are on top of it all the time, that we know what's happening with our clients, that we um, we can standardize everything across all staff as well, because for anybody here who has staff and I had, you know, a rotational number of staff, but sometimes 10, 11, 12 people working for me, um, you still need to follow a process. You still need to follow something that's in place and make sure everybody's following the same thing so if you've got a new client coming in and you're not there that day or you're in treatment um, and your managers with with a client you want to know that any therapist in your business at that time or any stylist can pick up one universal system that you're using and make sure that information is is collated before you begin the treatment just to protect you so um this is, you know, it's highly important right now. Um, I know there's slightly uncomfortable questions sometimes on a form that people think, oh, we don't want to ask that. But these are things that we need to know in order to act safely and effectively and to cover ourselves. So having um, a system in place 
that we can all roll out, that we can all understand, everybody in our business can use and access easily. Um, it's, it's paramount, absolutely paramount. Awesome. Um, one thing we do get asked quite a lot is how safe is the is the client's information if you are doing it digitally. Mm -hmm. So if you're using consult, um, you really want to make sure that you do have your phone um, with a, a password. So password protected because basically the data, if you are just using consult alone and not timely, it will be stored locally on your device. So making sure that not the people can't just pick that up and access. So mm -hmm. just having that pin on there. Um, now, if you are using Timely, it's stored in the cloud, which is extremely safe. Um, so that's a whole other layer of safety there. And then also one thing that um, Consult does have is you actually have the option to have a pin lock within the app. So if you hand, if, if it's in person and the clients come in and they're filling out the consultation in um, the business, so you can put a pin lock on the app and then you hand a client the device, they cannot leave that app. They can't leave the console app. So it means they can't go browsing through other bits and pieces on your phone or your iPad, which is quite nice just to know that they've just got access to that and then they hand it back to you and you can yes. obviously open the pin to get back into everything else. So nice and easy. Yeah, I think that's probably something that people will have been thinking about. How will that exactly work? Um, so let's talk about, um, obviously, you guys have created this specific app, which is awesome. Um, and myself, when I had my business, as I mentioned, I was a timely user. But what about if somebody isn't a timely user? How does that work? Yes, great question. Cool. So um, to start off with, I'll just run through a, a wee bit around why we created Consult. I know I mentioned briefly at the start, but basically, um, you know, it's something we're hearing more and more where there is um, this fear of people getting bad reviews or um, what clients might do if they aren't happy with the service. And so from um, understanding this and that there was this sort of fear building and this need for consultations, we decided to come up with a solution, which was Consult, to avoid um, these type of events. And so... Consult, yeah, was built for people to be able to create their own forms or use the industry templates that we do have. Um, and it was it's really been our hope that if people get to try Consult, they get a bit of a taste for the type of software that we build here at Timely and might see how brilliant we are. And then, um, and also for people to, to see how passionate we are about actually helping people to have really successful businesses. That's what every decision we make here at Timely is designed for our customers and to help them with their business. So yeah, it's really, it's been designed um, with the hope that people will get, get to experience consult and then as a result, have a bit of trust um, in our software and who knows, maybe maybe come over and try Timely one day. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the whole why behind why it's been designed as a free app. Um, and to just run through some of the specifics on what you can actually do within the app, um, if you're using it without using Timely. So first off, um, it is GDPR compliant, which is great. You can do the uploading of photos and then editing those as well. Um, so marking up images, you can save and store um, the forms in the app on your phone um, or device. You also can create an unlimited number of templates. So you can create as many as you like. Um, and you do get to use those industry expert created templates when you do start, if you're needing a bit of a hand um, and aren't too sure where to begin, those are there for you. You can do the digital signatures, like we saw the image before, so that's great for the consent and waiver side of things. And you do have access to the pin lock um, feature we just talk about, talked about to keep it really safe when clients are using the app as well. Awesome. It's a, it's a quite an involved app that you get for free I have to say because obviously you see a lot of stuff that's kind of like you can download the, something for free but it's it's basic you know and then mm -hmm. uh so I think it's going to be so effective for people to be able to use this because um you know being able to customize it and put pictures in and everything and I'm seeing so many people asking these questions in our communities and we run quite a few communities online and uh they're all saying how am I going to how am I going to protect myself? And obviously everybody's in a different situation. Not everybody uses the time software. Some people do, some people don't. Some people are still on a, you know, paper and pen um, and a book. Um, some people just do everything, you know, with their own Google calendar. Like everybody's at a different part of this. Um, and of course, this is kind of, chucked everybody into this pot of, right, what do we do now to move forward? So I love um, 
that there is something that everybody can access at the moment that's kind of um it's unbiased towards where you're at uh in your yeah. business and it's available to you it's cool it's good oh good no that's it's great to hear that the conversations are happening that's awesome it is um now just before we wrap up i will for anyone that is out there that is um thinking about time we're currently using it so the difference is um where to if you are not using time and you're using consult on its own or if you are using it in conjunction with timely there are just a few extra things you can do so um basically one of the one of the great things is that it will pre-populate your forms when your client goes to fill one out so if you've got a client that comes in and you are using timely it will pull that information from their client profile and automatically fill that into the form and then they just have to do the extras or they could even update that information and then that will automatically go back and update their um, client profile in Timely. So that's really handy with saving a bit of admin um, and also is, is really great in this time that we are currently in with making sure that your client details are constantly up to date in case you do need to contact them. Absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that part there is, is, is nice, nice and handy. Um, now, a few other things. So our um developers our team have gone and worked extra hard over this time um, to release some extra updates and consults so that it works even better for businesses through lockdown and also post lockdown um, one of those things was that you can now send the forms to clients pre-appointment through sms so it's just helping with that whole client experience side of things mm -hmm. um, if you have a client that books an appointment you literally click a button and it sends at whichever consultation you choose so there may be a variety for different services straight to their phone they get that as a text they click the link fill out the form and it will come back to you so that is really really great for helping with that whole um, doing the admin pre-appointment saving time reducing crossover of clients um, and then the other thing that you can do is actually um, using video calls now through Timely as well. So this is awesome if people are wanting to get into doing, let's say, video consultations before you actually have the client come in. And this is something that we have found people, um, people from what we've experienced, even um, in Australia, New Zealand, I think some in the UK as well, have started to actually do consultations before the, the business is even reopened. So it's something you can actually do to prepare a little bit now, check in with your clients, see what type of services they're after when they come back, or maybe it's even having a consultation with them for a, let's say, at-home facial kit or so, something along the lines of that. Right. So being able to do the video calling um, is sort of helping bridge that distance when you can't physically be in the same room. But if you do do something, something like a video consultation, actually going through your consultation process that you have and using one of the templates that is inside of the consult app, let's say, or whatever it is that you're using to make sure that you have um, that set, you're delivering that same experience time and time again, and whichever staff member it is that is performing that video consultation has a process to follow. So that's coming back to that same um, thing that you were talking about before, Holly, of making sure that it is consistently the same experience. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, and then you can, if it is all digital, it's just super easy to even go click send to the client. They digitally sign it with their finger and send it back to you. So you've covered every aspect you've covered yourself um, in all your areas. So yeah, I hope that, that sort of explains the differences there between consult with Timely or without Timely. Amazing. Awesome. Amazing. Um, and just to reiterate as well, it is a free app, isn't it? I think I saw somebody yes, ask the question saying, what is the fee? And it is, it is free. Yeah. You can like put this on for free. Totally, um, free. totally free. Yeah, exactly like um, I was just saying before, it, it has been designed to help you and to help your business to, um, you know, deliver an even better client experience than, than before. So yes, definitely, definitely worth giving it a go. It's awesome. awesome. I would certainly be using it if my if my business was still under my ownership. I would certainly be getting this into gear now. Um, so I think now, if there's any questions, we're happy to answer anything. Um, anything that's particularly technically based, I will certainly chuck at Lou because uh, yes. I can't help with that. But um, <laughs> yeah. anything we can help with.
Fabulous. Well, thanks so much, Lou and Holly, for that. That was really interesting. And I think we've had so many um, comments and questions popping up here in Zoom and over on Facebook. So I've been trying to kind of keep an eye on them. I know um, we've had a couple of people from Timely answering any technical questions over on Facebook. So that's been really helpful. Um, so forgive me if I repeat anything that's already been answered, but there's loads popped up. No, 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 no. Yeah, lots to lots to be getting through. So I'm just going to start here in um, in the Zoom platform. Um, We've had one about um, after lockdown. So will all existing clients need to fill out an online consultation prior to coming in for their treatment after lockdown? I don't, I'm not sure. We haven't had any kind of definitive um, rules on this, have we, from we haven't, government? No. Do you have any thoughts on this? I would, uh, in my personal opinion, if it was me, I would, I would probably really want to check everybody because uh, this period of time um, has been, you know, quite involved in testing and some people might have been exposed to certain things, they might have been around people. And I would say, um, you know, if you're not printing out all the documents and you're not getting everybody to do it when they come in, you don't have to worry about the time element or the cost element associated with printed consultations that really there would be no reason for you to not do it um, just to keep yourself fully protected and fully up to date because with that knowledge it could totally affect how you do something or whether or not you see a client so i personally would but there is no definitive like you said eve there's no definitive regulations yet and guidance um who knows when it's going to come out i know some of the companies are working with the government to get the information together but um i would i would always be better safe than sorry when it comes to anything like this yeah absolutely it sounds like really good advice i think as you say we are expecting imminently some kind of official guidelines there's quite a lot out there currently from um, associations and industry bodies like nhbf and bad tax they do have a look at those but yeah i think hopefully we'll get a bit more uh, definite advice pretty soon um, another question we've had over here, um, I guess this is re relating to how things are out there in Australia and New Zealand, um, because you're in a slightly different kind of position to us here in the UK. Are there any treatments out there that you're not allowed to do? Well, it's been so in New Zealand, um, beauty has been able to open and I, I don't think there are any treatments that have been um, taken off the table. I think um, there are certain like regulations that you do need to um, work with them now. So um, contact tracing, for example, is one where you do need to take all those details so you can go and um, contact a client in case someone has been in the salon with COVID. But in terms of specific services, um, no. In Australia, however, there have been different states that have opened at different stages with um, yeah, so different. So, in a, for example, hairdressing was able to open, but beauty was not. But I haven't personally seen anything in regards to specific beauty services. Um, if a business can open so far, it's been that business can open, to my knowledge. Yes. Great. Thanks, Lou. And um, a couple more questions here about the app. Um, so Maria has asked, where is the data stored and how do I know I'll always have access to it? And how do I reassure my clients that the data is safe? Yeah, sure. Good question. Um, in terms of where it is stored, so if you are just using the app alone, when you have completed a consultation, you'll get the option to basically like export um, it, so save it or export it. And so from there, you can save it to your own device. You could email it to yourself if you would like. So you do have a bit of control around where you store that if you are using the console app on its own. However, if you are going to use it with Timely, then it would be set stored inside the Timely app, um, which, which is extremely, extremely safe. It's all in the cloud, um, very locked down. One person once, I, I had to sort of explain how safe it was. And basically, if you imagine you've got a storefront, um, a usual storefront wouldn't have bodyguards, but let's say if it's in timely, the, the type of safety, safety is that you've got people at the front of the store, bodyguards, and they will only let certain people in. So I think, yeah, if it's in the cloud, completely safe. But if it is on your own device, um, that is up to you with how safe you do make that. Yeah. However, you will always have access to be able to get into the app. Yeah. Excellent, thank you. And um, another question is, do clients also have to download the Timely app to receive the info and fill in the forms? Great question again. No, they do not. So um, if you are 
using the consult app, let's say in the salon, you would hand the client, you would likely the way that most people do it is they would hand the client the device that consult is on to then go and fill out that consultation form. Um, so let's say I would have my form set up on my iPad and the salon client would come in, I'd hand them the iPad and they would fill out the form on that device. Um, if you are going to use Timely in conjunction with Consult, you can send clients that consultation, whichever consultation, beforehand via text, and then it can be on any device. So um, I guess as long as it's a smartphone where you could click a link and open up into a web browser, then you're absolutely fine. Excellent, thank you. Um, another question here. Um, I have the Consult app, but I'm not very tech savvy. Is there a walkthrough that I can find? Because I'm struggling to make the perfect form. Mine are very basic at the moment. Yes, absolutely. Um, please, I, I feel like without going into too much um, detail here, please email us and we would love to have help or um, direct message and I will respond to you on Instagram. So email would be help at gettimely.com and that's for... Um, anyone using the consult app um, and then also if you google consult timely um, help guide you will get a range of documents that will talk you through step by step with like images and bullet point instructions um, to help you use the the consult app so um, there's that there's also there's some resources on instagram and igtv um, but Yes, if you flick us a message, um, either email or direct message, I will directly send you some of those links to find those things if you'd like. Fabulous, thank you. Um, someone else has asked, can you put your own logo onto the consultation forms, your salon logo? Not currently. Um, it is something that we have been talking about a lot, so I'd say stay tuned on that front, but um, not currently, yeah. Okay, fab. Um, another person has asked over here, um, Oh, I've just lost the uh, question. One second. Ah, yeah. Would it enable me to take a photo of a mole that you want to keep your eye on? I've been doing this on my phone, but I feel it's not particularly private. Yes, absolutely. Um, yep, absolutely. So if you are in the app, it basically just uses the, the camera from your phone if you're in the app. So the, it, it would be exactly the same as if you're taking it directly from the camera or within the app. And then obviously, instead of just being stored in your camera roll, it's stored directly in that consultation. So much easier to keep track of whose mole is whose, I guess. Yeah. Excellent, thank you. Um, another question about the app. When the client has filled in a consultation form, then comes in for another treatment, can they just sign it to clarify that there's no changes um, or do they have to fill in a new form? Um, the form wouldn't be able to be edited. So reason being that it would, um, yeah, if it could be edited, we could come into problems with it um, not being compliant with certain rules and regulations. So forms can't be edited once they have been saved. So they would need to um, fill out another one. But that new one could be a really short version where it might just be a statement saying nothing, you know, nothing has changed since the last time or whatever it might be. Um, and then for them to sign that. And that would obviously have the date and um, on it as well. So that that could be a workaround there. Yeah. Excellent. Um, a few people have asked here and over on Facebook just about how you use the form. So there's been a few questions. Is there a plan to um, have one that's compatible with Android? I think um, your time, the experts over on Facebook have answered not at the moment. Um, we've had a few other questions about can it be used on desktop? So if you've got a Mac, can you use it on a Mac desktop or is it literally iPhone and iPad only? Or just, yeah, I suppose, how do you use it? Very, very, very good question. It is something we, um, again, I can't share too, too much about the future of consult, but we are having a lot of conversations around where we take this to make it accessible for more and more people. Um, so yeah, sorry that I can't share too much on exactly where it's going, but we are we are um, talking about that and we're taking everyone's considerations into account with future developments. Um, what I would say, so the app itself does need to be iOS. If you are using Timely, you can use any device and you can access the pre-made templates. So that would mean to customize the forms, it would need to be through the app. But once you've customized them, you can send them through to your Timely account. Or if you, do, if you aren't going to customize them and you want to use the industry created ones, you can use them from within the Timely app and that can be on any device at all. I hope that um, isn't too complicated. If you do want clarification, I can um, 
flip me a message and I'll, I'll explain that as well. Excellent, thank you. Um, another person has asked over on Facebook, can we do this face to face and get them to sign it while we do their skin test? Or is this just yeah. advance, I guess, is the... Yeah, yeah, so um, if you were face to face with someone, you would just want to pull up the app and get them to sign on the app. Um, you would still be using, you'd still be going through pretty much the same process, but you might just have a different type of consultation that you have for in person or not. But I feel like with, and Holly, you can probably talk to this, you'd probably still want to take all of that information in person or not in person. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, but yes, yes. If they're in person, you would just pull up the app yourself rather than them doing it. Um, and then you would get them obviously to sign it themselves at the end of the process yes. and make sure they were happy with everything that was in there. So you could use it potentially as a tool to um, build that conversation directly with the client. Yeah, yeah. Great, thank you both. Um, we have another question here. Um, is there any way of doing treatment record cards? This way I would be able to go completely paperless. Um, for, if I'm understanding the question right, so you could create a form where you just have um, a text box and then from there, that would be that you just completely so um, can type absolutely anything. Would that, is that what a treatment record card is? So uh, I'm assuming what this person's requesting is, um, so every time somebody comes in for a treatment and it's recorded on a system, so they know exactly who's had what and when and what products were used or, or what treatment was delivered so they can always refer back and see what their history is. I'm guessing that's what it's being referred to. Yeah, then absolutely. So the forms being completely customizable means that you can really use them in, in a range of different ways. Not It doesn't just need to be consultations as such. Um, so yeah, we've had people even, let's say, use the create forms where they send out a bit of like a, um, a quiz or a um survey. Yeah, something like, yeah survey survey exactly i've gone brain numb for that word exactly a survey after so you can use it in any which way so for something like that they'd probably have the client details um in that top section and then they'd have let's say a box which they're typing in what treatment they came in for and then saving it mm -hmm. cool great thank you and um, another question we've had in here is please can you tell us how to lock the form when clients are on it please mm-hmm so I think they might be referring to what I um, mentioned earlier around the, there's a pin um, lock feature that we have within consult. So let's just say I have consult open on my um, phone. I've got the app open. Now I would open the app and then I would enable the pin. So I'd put the pin in and then I would hand that my device to the client. Now, if they try to exit the app and go into a different app, they, they cannot because I have basically locked my phone into just that app. And then when they give it back to me, I would enter the pin again to unlock it. And now I can go access everything else in my, on my device. So basically it's just um, giving you a bit of privacy if you are sharing that device around to people. Fab. Thank you. Another question is, could we get ahead of the game and send out new online forms to clients now? I'm a waxing salon, so my form would always relate to some sort, some form of waxing. Um, so that when we get the go ahead to reopen, we've got one job already done. Yes, absolutely. Now, um, that just does come back to the part of, so currently with consult if you would like to send the forms to a client let's say via sms you would need to be connected with timely because that's where we've got all those details and can then send that to the client so sending forms pre-appointment um if you're using consult and timely absolutely if you're just using consult um you wouldn't be able to let's say like text it straight to the client from the app that way Excellent, thank you. Can I just add something to that as well? Sorry, um, I would also just recommend that if they are getting that main bulk of information, they might still want to consider doing like a pre-COVID check before people come in as well, because if it's another three or four weeks before we open, for instance, then obviously something may change in that time where they're in that situation or they might develop some symptoms or something. So I would, I would suggest that if you're doing any kind of pre-COVID check via the system that you do it very close to them arriving just to make sure everything's as up to date as possible. Yeah that makes complete sense I think we need to be ultra cautious at the moment definitely. Yeah. 
And um, we've had a few different questions about pricing because people have said, I'm looking at the time app, it states 14 day free trial. So what are the full costs of use? But there's different, this is, there, there's a difference obviously between the football timely and the full timely software. So can you just yeah. explain that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so there is, there are two separate apps that timely have. So there's the timely app, which is the, um, like the salon spa management software. Um, that's your whole like, you know, bookings, um, marketing, all of that side of things. That's the timely app. And then we have the console app, which is purely for what the co consultations, creating customizable forms. Um, so two separate apps, console app, absolutely anyone can download it completely free. Um, don't need a trial because it's free. With the Timely app, if you are looking um, to use Timely, then you get a free 14 day trial. And if you are wanting to see how the two work together, let's say for being able to send forms pre-appointment, you could always go and try that 14 day trial um, and then you can log in to consult with your Timely login and it will give you those extra features. But consult standalone, totally free, yeah. So the, the prices they'll be seeing will be for Timely. Excellent. Okay. Well, um, I think we're coming up to the end of time now. We've gone on for a really long time. It's great. We've had so many questions. That, um, but yeah, we are getting to the, to the end of our time. But thank you so much, Lou and Polly. That was really interesting. I think a lot of people uh, found that really helpful. Um, we've had lots of comments as well as questions saying this has been a really useful presentation. So thank you both. Yeah, oh, thanks awesome. for having us. Thank okay. you so much. It's been, it's been so lovely to, to join you both today. Great, and if anyone does have any other questions that we've not got around to answering, what's the best way to get in touch with you guys? Uh, well, you can follow me on Insta um, and you can private message me there. I'm Holly with an IE um, from Salonology, or you can uh, email me holllie at salonology.uk or follow us on our Salonology page on Facebook. It's both me and my husband Ryan behind that. So you can contact either of us. You might have seen him bouncing around the internet. He's a, he's a very visual, loud guy. And uh, <laughs> so you might have seen either one of us floating around um, in the salon world. So give us a shout on there and one of us will be happy to, to respond. Great. Awesome. Guys, I love it, bouncing around the internet. <laughs> um, and then for Timely, so our Instagram handle is Timely, T-I-M-E-L-Y. Um, if you follow us there, direct message. There's a bunch of information on the page, but please do message if you've got any questions at all. Um, and then e the best email would be help at gettimely, so G-E-T-T-I-M-E-L-Y.com. Um, or our website is gettimely.com and everything will be on there as well. Fabulous. Well, thank you again, both of you. And uh, thanks everyone for joining us today. Thank you. thank you. Excellent. So obviously we've got a packed webinar, a uh, packed week, sorry, of webinars uh, this week, all sponsored by Timely. So if you have a look over on professionalbeauty.co.uk forward slash webinars, you can see everything else we've got coming up and register there. So we'll see you soon. Thanks everyone. Bye.